Good morning, everybody. How are you? Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. Today is going to be a day in my life planty vlog. We're just going to hang out. Um, I'm just going to be catching up on some plant chores today and also working. So I hope that you're down for this type of chill, casual video. Got my green tea, of course. Very excited to drink that. It is 7.20 in the morning right now. I have been up since six. I've already taken Olive out. I've already read some of my book. Currently reading A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas, if you were wondering. I talk more about books on my vlog channel. Right now, I've just got my planner and I'm going to kind of map out my day and figure out everything that I need to get done. I know that I have some work on my laptop to um, finish, so. I know I'll for sure be doing that, but I just like to write everything down and kind of get organized. Had to get up and make a couple of little slices of raisin bread first because I'm hungry. This is like my breakfast appetizer because I always have multiple breakfasts. Okay, I pretty much got my day mapped out. All of this like pinky red color is work stuff. Um, yellow is like health and wellness. I always do water plants in that like turquoise color. So I've definitely got just a lot of like random work things to do here. Filming a day in the life, that's what I'm doing right now. I need to film another video later on today. And I was gonna do a run today, but I'm kind of like easing myself back into that. So I think I might actually opt for yoga for my exercise today. Anyways, very full day ahead of us, but it's gonna be a good day. I'm ready for it. I think before I start tackling my list, I'm going to water my moss bowls. I like to do that every morning while I'm like having my tea. Nice relaxing activity to start the day. Yeah, I still have this second philodendron splendid. I need to sell it though because I definitely just don't have room for two of them. I wish I did since it's one of my favorite plants, but they get to be big boys. And then in here we have a new leaf emerging on my philodendron Sharonia, which is very, very exciting. This one's definitely been slow to get going, but um, yeah, hopefully it's settled in now and will just keep going for me. Oh, she is dry. I just watered this moss bowl like not long ago. This is just kind of like a crappy skinny one though. And I will touch up my carnivorous plants if they need it, but I don't think they do because I just watered them recently. This one got way too dry accidentally, but he's bouncing back. Got new growth right there. Okay, I haven't made my bed yet today because I actually just unboxed my brand new bedding from Brooklinen, who is so kindly sponsoring today's video. If you haven't heard of Brooklinen before, they are a company that offers luxurious, high-quality bedding at an affordable price because they cut out the middleman. 
I was so excited to open this package and I'm just, I'm so impressed with everything that I received. The colors look amazing and I just can't wait to transform my bedroom with this new bed set. I had a shower and got ready, obviously. I'm put together now. So while I was doing that, I ran all of this bedding through the washer and the dryer so that we can put it on the bed. <sighs> I feel like this is exactly the pick-me-up that I need. Y'all know that I've not been feeling well the past few weeks and I just need to like freshen up my space, change things around. I love when my space reflects how I'm feeling. Um, it just makes me feel like so much more inspired and creative. My makeup was even inspired by this new bedding because I was so in love with the colors when I opened the package. It was such a fun process picking everything out too because you can mix and match with over 20 different colors and patterns while creating your bundle. I wanted to go for kind of a romantic theme. That's why I went with the pink and the red. I want something that just has like a luxurious kind of feeling that I can just curl up in bed with my book and my cup of tea. I'm very into pinky tones right now, so I just couldn't be happier with the colors. The quality feels amazing so far. I can just tell that it is so much better than what I had on my bed before. <laughs> I'm sure I will have a fantastic sleep because Brooklinen has over 100,000 five-star reviews. I got the classic hardcore bundle, which comes with a sheet set, two extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. It's better to do the bundle because you get 25% off of everything that way, and it's very fun to create your little palette. The sheets are 270 thread count, and they just feel so grand. These are also supposed to be great for hot sleepers, which is perfect for me because I hate being hot at night and I sleep with Olive and she's like a mini heater. So I need all of the help that I can get. I'm actually going to insert a clip from the next day so I can report to you on how my experience was. Good morning, everybody. It is Fern from the future and I had a wonderful sleep. I felt like I was sleeping in like luxurious hotel bedding. It's so cool and crisp feeling. I was not hot at all. So yeah, honestly, I'm obsessed. If you too would like to up your bedding game, I honestly couldn't recommend Brooklyn and more. I already want to hop onto their website and check out the other products that they have. Brooklinen is giving you $20 off of a purchase of $100 or more if you use the code WILDFERN at checkout. Their website will be linked down below in the description box. Thank you so, so much to Brooklinen for sponsoring this portion of the video. Okay, next up, I need to take Olive for her walk. We go for a walk every day. Well, unless it's like pouring rain, then she wouldn't go. But yeah, we're very routine, very scheduled. She knows the drill, so time for our walk. You wanna go for a walkie monkey? Come on. Yeah, you wanna go? You wanna go for a walkie? a good girl, put your harness on. Got my cozy jacket on. Okay, just finished up some filming and some work on my laptop and now we finally get to do some plant stuff so i'm on like damage control right now from everyone being underwatered the past few weeks so i have some very thirsty plants along my windowsill in particular here and hanging on the bed like look at greta floppy floppy girl she'll bounce back but still um, I also need to water everybody down here. So I'm probably gonna start with pulling all of these guys out of here and I'll likely water them in the bathtub. That, that's the easiest for these like larger plants and the ones on the poles and everything. Okay, I have these three in here to water, two monster at elbows, and then my philodendron, oh, my philodendron glorious, who is honestly looking so good lately. This is the newest leaf. 
yeah, she's thirsty. But she's catching up to the Splendid with how beautiful she's been looking lately. I'm obsessed. All right, so we have my Florida ghost here, as you can see. And this plant is growing so crazy, you guys. Look at the vine. It's going completely sideways, and it's kind of like hardened into this weird shape which is unfortunate because I wanted to get this plant onto a moss pole and I don't know how I'm gonna do that now working with this shape um so I don't know I guess I'm just gonna let him do his thing for now and I can't really chop him either because all of these leaves um the last three leaves are white so you know they're not just a white leaf isn't going to survive without any chlorophyll so i have to wait until they turn green which hopefully they will because i in the past i've been in the situation where the leaves didn't turn green and they just turned brown and died off it looks like this one is like i moved it further from the light too because that can help this one's more yellow so that one looks like it will turn green but like this one this is the oldest of the white leaves and it is like so so white so i'm a little worried about that one but yeah i don't know there's other green leaves on the plant so i think it'll be okay um but hopefully they do eventually turn green because yeah like i said i've been down that road before he's so stunning though like are you kidding me this is so so nice honestly the florida ghost of my dreams so i'm very very grateful um, I'm just not quite sure what I should do about the growth pattern and like potentially getting him on a pole. Should I just wait until I get more green leaves? What do you guys think? Let me know. Or should I just try to like work that vine around a pole and just do the best that I can and like slowly conform it to a climbing shape? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I have them out here because as you can see, the water meter is on empty. So I'm gonna mix up some of my fertilizer water for him. This is um, growing in pond. This is actually probably the best experience I've had with pond, this plant, like he's doing so, so well. Um, and then I also have my variegated Thanksgiving cactus here because this needs to be watered. This plant hasn't really done anything for a while, but I just noticed that we have new growth coming in right there. So that's gonna be the first, whoops, it's gonna be the first new growth in a while. And I'm so, so happy to see that. Um, other than that, he hasn't really done a lot. Very dry though, so I will definitely be watering. And then we have a sad situation over here. Don't mind all my tea stuff. Um, this is my Hoya Multiflora, which I love so much and I was so excited about. Oh my goodness, Lynn, if you're watching, look away. <laughs> this unfortunately dried out and it's also in semi-hydro. It was doing so well, but you guys, it dried out. And that's like the worst thing that can happen when you have semi-hydro is for it to get like completely dry and stay that way. It looks like this one, um, the roots still look good because sometimes it can dry out too much and then you water it again and you'll get dry rot. But I did water this again and it doesn't look like we have any rot, so that's good. And we also have new leaves, but not only did it dry out when I was sick, um, it also got mealybugs. I've had a mealybug problem on, wait, where's the other one? There was like a big one. Oh, it came off right here, gross. Do you see that? There, you can kind of see. I think that that's the eggs. Um, and then you can see an actual mealybug right there. Gross. So I'm going to treat this <laughs> for mealybugs. It looks like there's, like, you know, there's not a ton on there, so I'll be able to get them off. I can't believe there's new growth coming in with all this going on. This poor, poor plant. Um, yeah, all these leaves need to go in the compost. But oh my goodness, I'm so bummed about this. I mean, hopefully I'll be able to revive it or at least get some nice new growth and then propagate that and start another plant. This is one that I really want to bloom too. And I'm just like, you know, <laughs> I'm having trouble getting it to the point where it's like doing well enough to bloom. I'm just gonna wash my hands after that. It's time for Olive to eat too, so I'm gonna feed her quickly. You hungry? Yeah, 
hungry. Feels so good to be doing plant things again. Like, yeah, I just love it. That's genuinely what makes me happy is just taking care of my plants, puttering around, doing plant chores, doing like home things. Yeah, I just love that stuff so much. Okay, I'm gonna water the Florida ghost. I just water until the meter goes up again. There it goes. That's good. Time to water my prized baby. I'm giving her the fertilizer water as well. I'll let it drain through and then I'm gonna do it again just to make sure it's fully getting saturated. Okay, I'm gonna get these mealies off of here now using isopropyl alcohol. I actually ruined my desk the last time I did this, so I will not be doing this there without a potting mat again. <laughs> it left a big mark in the wood because some of the alcohol like ran down here and made a ring around here. So now there's a ring on the top of the desk and I can't get it off, which really sucks because I like that desk, but yeah, we'll do it over here this time. Okay, so I'm gonna try to take a picture of it actually. Okay, bye-bye, dude. Sorry. It's in such a tricky place to actually remove it. Oh, here we go. There he is. Gross. There's actually another one right in the new growth here, so get him out of there. So rude. My nice new leaves. <clears throat> okay, so we got two. Now I'm just gonna look for any more or any eggs. I think I caught it pretty early. Like I think that most of this damage was from underwatering, unfortunately. Unless there's, oh my gosh, did I even have a peduncle? <gasps> I even had a peduncle, you guys. Ugh, I need to bring this one back. I should have put this on my um, goals for 2023 because this is definitely a Hoya that I want to do well and to grow out. <sighs> so I'll be working on that this year. This is definitely like my saddest Hoya right now. Okay, so I did squirt some water into here like a couple of days ago when I noticed it was dry and that it looked like it was dying. So it's like a little bit damp in here um, and that's why I'm gonna go ahead and add fertilizer water into here. If the roots were just like dry and hadn't been watered yet with regular water, I might not because it might be too harsh on the roots, but because it's already had a drink of just regular water, I'm gonna go in with my fertilizer mix. Okay, just grab these monstera out of the bathtub. Um, they're looking really good. I just wanna let them just dry here for a couple of minutes and just kind of like, I don't know, admire them and look them over. I do wanna cut off some of these crispy tips, I think, 
This one I'm particularly obsessed with. Um, I can't wait to see what the growth point is going to look like because I just feel like the variegation is going to be really nice on this one. I really like like all of the variegation that we have going on and the stem looks like it has really great variegation. So really eager to see, oh no, poor thing. Really eager to see what the um, new leaf is going to look like. And then this one, I'm excited about this one too, actually. I'm excited about all of them, honestly. I have three of them and I'm debating either just like potting all three of them together or um, selling one or selling two and just keeping one. I have no idea what I wanna do. Um, I'm leaning towards the selling thing right now just because I was sick and yeah, I obviously don't get paid time off. So I did take a hit for that, um, but yeah i mean it's my own fault i should be organized and have like a sick bank for videos but that's a whole other conversation but yeah this is obviously the um top cut so eventually we'll get a new leaf right there and that'll be really cool to see if i do sell this top cut um i'll probably wait until i get a new leaf this can honestly be potted into potting mix like any time now as well it's very rooted so that'll be fun to do actually i'll probably do that within the next one to two weeks It's funny that the green is crisping up, but there's like no crisping on the white. Like, that's crazy. Crispy elbow tips would have sold for five bucks a pop in 2020. Okay, you guys, I just got mail and I think that it's planty, so let's open it up. I literally just ordered this yesterday. I do not know, or maybe it was two days ago. Anyways, it was, it feels like it was just yesterday. It might've actually been yesterday. And my mail is not like that. Like, even though it's Amazon, things do not come in two days. So I'm like shocked because it's here already. But I ordered some more grid because y'all know I have grid in my Millsbo wide and I love it. And I think I'm, oops. So I'm wanting to go ahead and put grid in my Millsbo tall. Now I have my pegboard, but I just didn't really want to put it back in. I'm, you know, it warps and can mold over time and stuff. Um, I still have it. I might use it again one day, but um, I really like the like minimal look of the grid. So I got a couple and we're gonna give it a go. I hope that this is the right size. I think it is. Yeah, that should work. I'm gonna be redoing my Mills Bow Tall soon and I'm really excited about it. Um, I think the only thing that I need, I've been like slowly collecting everything to redo it. Um, I think the only thing that I still need is a new power bar because my current one doesn't work and there's also just not enough outlets. I need one with like five or six instead of just three. Um, so once I have that, then I can, um, yeah, I'm doing new lights, new fans, new weather stripping, everything. So I'm really excited for that project. Just can't believe that this showed up so quickly. I was not expecting that. Hello. How are you, beauty? How are you, good girl? I love you. I love you. 
Love you so much, baby. You look beautiful in this new bedding. You look beautiful. It really suits you. It really suits you, baby. Yeah. Okay, I have got the main mother elbow here. And because she is pushing out a new leaf up here, I'm going to be giving her the fertilizer water. She is dry, but I don't think she's like too dry or anything. Like she's still retaining some water, but definitely due for a drink. So let's give her one. Okay, just watered my bed frame trailing plants and everyone is doing so well you guys. Those grow lights that I have clamped onto the bed frame are honestly doing the most. This trailing jade has never been happier. It's doing so well and I'm so happy about that. I'm finally getting the trailing jade of my dreams that I had envisioned. So I'm really glad that I persisted with this plant because there was multiple times when I was considering just throwing the whole thing into the compost. Um, but yeah, it's doing so well. Like it's got new growth coming out everywhere. It's loving the light. Same with the Crimson Queen. Um, like there's new growth coming out everywhere. If you can see those little leaves there, they're so cute. Um, look at that nice pink one right there. Like, are you kidding me? That is so nice. I'm noticing there's a lot of pink on this plant right now and I, it must be because of the grow light. We've got like new growth coming out on multiple vines. Very, very exciting. And now we're gonna be going into spring within the next couple of months. So yeah, I think that she's gonna be very happy. 
Maybe we'll get a bloom, friends. Maybe. Speaking of blooms, a lot of y'all noticed a peduncle that was hanging out in the background of one of the last videos I posted, uh, my goals of 2023 video, I believe. And that peduncle was on this Hoya Matilde, and unfortunately, it dried out and fell off. So that peduncle is no more. Um, but yeah, a lot of people were asking about it. I tried to respond to everyone, but... If you were wondering, this is the plant it was on. And I just didn't even notice. Like, it totally snuck up on me and the plant had already gotten too dry. So, yeah, you really have to be on top of keeping your Hoyas watered when they are about to bloom. Or else they're, you're running a high risk of it just drying off. Um, but we do have new growth here. So, that's awesome to see. After she's been repotted and moved and everything, she seems really happy. And also dropped. She was dropped and, like, completely came out of the pot. So... Um, she didn't really seem to suffer because of that, which is good, but yeah, doing really well. And then the other ones, nothing too crazy to report, but they're doing fine as well. So yeah, really happy with how all of these are growing for me. I'm going to put them back on the bed now. Okay, so I actually have more watering to do. I have to water my Millsbo tall cabinet. So I'm just gonna do like a speed round watering. I'm just gonna quickly get it done. Um, yeah, it's almost seven o'clock. So I still need to take Olive out and I still have emails to answer. So, and I still have to eat something. Like I've just kind of been snacking. Um, I might just end up having my leftover chili again. Not very exciting, but yeah, just been a busy day. Okay, did the whole cabinet in 20 minutes, which I think is pretty good. Although 
this watering has gone from being relaxing to being stressful. Although I'm not surprised, honestly, that there's spider mites in there just because um, I just haven't been doing a good job of taking care of my plants. They've been drying out a lot and um, yeah, they've just been suffering a little bit from neglect. But that's okay, they will bounce back. Spider mites can be persistent, but they're not the worst pest in my opinion, so I'm not too stressed about it. But yeah, that's just what happens. It's just like us, right? If we're not taking care of ourselves, our immune system can be lower, we're gonna be more prone to getting sick. It's the exact same thing with plants. So yeah, I'm not surprised. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised that my plants aren't worse off just because they went like weeks without me tending to them. Sorry, I'm just trying to get all the lids on these fertilizer bottles so I can put them away. Just cleaning everything up and then I'm gonna take Olive out for a little W-A-L-K. Back in my uniform of sweatpants and a t-shirt. Gonna have my leftover chili. I'm so excited to get into this nice bed. Oh my goodness. Got my tea there. Got my book over there. And I'm all washed up, so finally get to test out the new bedding. I am living my best life in here right now. <laughs> Except I just remembered that I didn't do my yoga today. What the heck? When I took Olive out this evening, I was thinking that I would just do some like relaxing yoga before bed and I'm in bed and I didn't do my yoga. Oh well, it's 9.15 right now so I'm just going to read my book. I might actually finish this book tonight which would be really nice so yeah, going to read, going to have my tea and just enjoy my new bedding. Alright, I will see you guys in the morning. And I will end the video then. Good night. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. I'm just going to be finishing off this video. I wanted to show you um, my, specifically the Philodendron Campospore tuanum because it looked so sad and droopy yesterday, but it has indeed perked up. So I want to show you what it looks like today. Okay, so here she is. As you can see, she looks so much better. Like she was drooping yesterday. Today, the leaves feel like nice and firm again and they're all facing up, which is really nice. So yeah, she is 
um, growing off of the pole. Look at this leaf. Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous. I am going to be cutting this plant up soon because, I mean, yeah, obviously it's just like outgrown the pole. But yeah, she's so much happier today. So I just wanted to show you that because she looked so sad yesterday. She's so tough, honestly, because she's right beside that baseboard heater. And yeah, that's why she gets crispy leaves and stuff. But she's still growing like crazy, even though she dries out so much from that. But yeah, everyone is looking quite good today. And I'm feeling quite good because I'm finally caught up on my watering. Like I can just jump back into my regular watering routine. I was so behind for weeks and weeks. So I'm feeling really good that I have caught up. I also did finish A Court of Thorns and Roses yesterday. I rated it four out of five stars. Honestly, pretty good fantasy romance read. I really enjoyed it. So I just updated my Goodreads. My reading challenge is set to 40 books this year, so we'll see how I do. I read 33 last year, I think. And I also started my next book last night, which is Severance by Ling Ma. Um, heard really good things about this book. It's very just like, yeah, I don't know. It's very different from what I just read, like a completely different writing style and just being thrown into something completely different. So my brain is kind of adjusting to that, but I think it's gonna be a really good read. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I still have a little bit of a cough. Again, thank you so much to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video. If y'all are interested in upgrading your sheets, upgrading your bedding situation, I could not recommend them more. I'm honestly so happy and just still so excited about my new bedding. Like it looks amazing, it feels amazing. I'm so happy with it. So you can get $20 off of a purchase of $100 if you use the code WILDFERN. I will have everything linked in the description box. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed, uh, like this video if you liked it and leave me a comment down below because I would love to chat with you. Thank you guys so much for watching. You are the best and I will see you in the next one. Bye!